Good morning, good morning, and good morning from the beautiful, beautiful island of Barbados. I know you all are seeing a lot of sea spray probably on the front of this vlog right now, um, but as you can appreciate where we are, there's lots of sea spray. Again, bathe with it out here this morning. What a beautiful sunrise to start off our week with. Just amazing. I see a lot of family members on here this morning. Um, thank you for joining us. I know that it's a busy time and a lot of you are looking to have your own festivities today. But thank you very much for taking your time out um, to spend the morning with us and share a little care amongst those that you love. We're going to start off right here this morning with our serenity prayer as we watch the sun uh, rising. It's just a beautiful morning here in Barbados. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. I know you all would like to be here right now, but look at what we're being blessed with this morning. A spectacular sunrise. Just the type I like. A little bit of low cloud, just enough to give us the opportunity to look directly into the sun without getting completely blown away. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning here. I see a couple of you are not um, feeling 100%, a little bit under the weather. Well, good morning to you all and special prayers go out to you all this morning. It's a beautiful day here, as I said before. I'm looking for somewhere really special to bring you all i have been longing to come back over to this section of the island we've been having some intense weather over the last couple of weeks so we have stayed away from over here a little bit because as you all know it's quite challenging for the gimbal um it's gonna be a little bit murky i don't really want to start let me have a look and see what the lens is looking like see if we can do a quick like down on it maybe um we could just do a quick one so we're gonna take right now we're gonna have a little blackout for a second and that's because i'm just gonna put a quick wipe on the lens to try and clean it back up for you i find a spot where um, I can put you down safely and do a quick wipe down for you and then we will start going again. So bear with me for a second. This is what we have to call a technical pause. All right, back up again. That wasn't too bad, hopefully. Hopefully they make it worse. And your beautiful, beautiful coast on the northern section of Barbados is absolutely lovely. We're in the parish of St. Lucie. We're getting a brilliant cellular signal this morning because as you can see there's a cell tower just over there in the center of the camera. I love this section here. Uh, a lot of people drive all along these cliff areas. That would include me, of course. Um, if you have a four by four, I mean a real true four by four with some good ground clearance, you can pretty much drive from River Bay right across here to Little Bay. Um, can't drive across. Well, I guess you could drive across the section above where we would by Cove Bay, um, but I wouldn't really go across that section there. But you can do a lot of driving out here. I've done a lot of exploring out here. Brought my angel with me along these cliffs truly spectacular out here absolutely gorgeous worth it if you can make it for sure now a lot of you have been on this before with me we actually did this i think around if i remember correctly this morning I looked at it online um well i should say on the computer but i'm not 100 percent sure but i know it was in august for sure we haven't been on this section here since august so it will be new to some of you those that have been here with us before well you can appreciate we have to come back to some places but we're sharing the morning with our friends and loved ones that's what we're really here doing this morning um, this little bay here as far as you know it's called lake ox bay um, 
I am not too 100% sure of all of the, where the locations are of all of these spots out here. Um, because I know there are a lot of bays. I usually call them just seasonal beaches. This is a, a year-round beach though. Um, very, very nice out here actually. Uh, not good for swimming, but great for um, snorkeling. You can swim over here, but conditions would have to be favorable for that for sure. We're going to take a little bit walk to the north of the island, or down west, west of north. Um, we're just going to work our way down here. As you can appreciate, out here is very, very slippery, as in rocks will move on you quite easily. It's a very loose surface. So if you are coming um, to this section of the island, and you are going to be walking on the cliffs, I definitely recommend you have on the right attire. And step cautiously, because no matter what you have on, if you step wrong out here at all, you will go down. I will go down easily. I've been actually down a couple of times out here. Um, not hard, but I have been down a few times exploring along these cliffs. Beautiful, beautiful area. Absolutely stunning. A lot of little se uh, sections out here in the cliff itself where people use just to relax and get away from the sun and stuff. You'll find a lot of these little cove areas um, right along this entire cliff section. As you would know, the weaker matter has been eaten out. And that's how we're forming these little, these little caves. There are three actually above in the little bay section is the one that goes right through. And then there are two next to that that go quite deep now. A lot deeper than when I first started exploring out here for sure. We did have a float of sargasm over the last few days. I noticed that yesterday morning. Um, I went with some family members and did a little walk between Bath and Martin's Bay. Just a little getaway for them and a little getaway for me. Just to you know, enjoy the morning, enjoy the beauty of it. Um, we saw quite a bit of sargasm over in the Bath area and along the Martins Bay area and on the east coast. And there's some also on the southeast. So if you find that coming around a little bit, well, expect it. It's not that heavy, but it is actually coming around a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful area. Very unlike any of the other coastline sections of the island little bays. Very different. I'm not sure the reason why a lot of here didn't actually form into coral, but you can see the the pieces of coral all over the place but they're just, are just loose because there's a lot of chalk and clay and stuff out here mixed up in this soil very very different from any other sections of the island for sure saw a little bit of this here in the bath area yesterday on the same uh trek oh boy look who's out this morning yeah he's gonna have a lot of time to say hi to you all so we can ignore him for a couple of minutes and enjoy the beauty that's around us right now beautiful very popular area for fishermen very much so look at this lovely sun this morning i hope you brought your darker makers folks my replies are coming up from what you see here the comments are coming up really slowly a lot of people are on the comments so i know coming up from the serenity prayer so you'll understand why you don't comment too much on what comes up because it's quite delayed Just beautiful, beautiful Barbados. This is nature at its best. We did a little walk the other day from Paul's Point down to Chuckle Point. Um, so you have seen this type of territory recently, but this is just stunning. We're going to be blessed with some lovely conditions this week. We have low tide coming in. It's, I think low is around 4 o'clock this morning. So as the week progresses, you know, we'll be seeing more and more of the low tide. So, you know, we can take advantage of that for sure. Uh, wind speeds have dropped off quite a bit. Um, Wednesday, see, they have a couple of um, stronger gusts coming through, but um, not as strong as it has been for sure. Uh, so we will definitely be taking advantage of that. And the forecast is for fairly... I would say for fair weather is what they're predicting. Um, don't see any major cloud mass around us that should cause anything, but you know, we are in the tropics, so that could change overnight. Just like the winds could change overnight. This morning is supposedly very, very light winds. Um, we still are having some fairly strong ones. Nothing major, but we are having a few strong gusts as well. I hope you were able to hear um, the entire vlog this morning because I know for sure that uh, it was quite windy. I did try and block it with my bag and the umbrella. But I don't know how successful I was on that. And I also don't know if you realize I was there dabbling, walking across the point of the cliff in the distance as well. 
I'm not sure if you saw that. I don't know if I got into it because I haven't checked the vloggers yet. I didn't run my S9 off of the Signal from the 21 today because I didn't want to weaken what we would be getting. I'm hoping this is coming out at a 720, which is the highest resolution that we can get on live. I didn't run a high resolution today, but I did capture a high resolution sunset yesterday that I've run through the processors and I will be sharing that later on on YouTube. I will, of course, put the link up to Facebook as well for you. I took it from my favorite beach in the world and my favorite location is San Terry Grove. So what I got to call a blinding golden sunrise this morning. Just beautiful. The white cliffs that you would see all along the Cove Bay area. This is the same type of um, structure out here as well. Same, same type of uh, composite and stuff. Just beautiful. You will see the elevations. So I, I believe that what we are walking on now will be similar to what we're seeing up there in the distance over a few hundred years or a thousand years from now um, as Barbados is rising as we know it's rising out of the sea I think what we're seeing right now the erosion and stuff is just a, a process that it goes through as it's coming up and I think that in you know future we will have a similar situation with plateaus as we have here but this is just stunning I'm certainly enjoying it it is beautiful this morning I love this section of the island most definitely one of my favorite sections of the island if you're coming and talking about nature and exploring I do love the East Coast, but over here has a special, special feel to it. And a lot of you have probably not seen the cliff line out here. I know you've been to Little Bay. A lot of you drive to Little Bay. A lot of you would drive to Animal Flower Cave, etc. But these sections here that we're going to be seeing now are areas you may not be too familiar with. Some of you would be, of course. I know we have many explorers on here, local and also um, part-time Bajans. So I know for sure that some of you have seen it, but I know definitely that a lot of you have not. Well, he's looking way more than 10 feet today. Yes, I know everybody's saying hello to him. I don't know why. Anyhow, good morning to you all. And um, yes, I will I will tell you, I did have something very fancy for him. I had a beautiful set of a uh, reindeer outfit for well, a reindeer outfit for him, but oh boy, he got away this time. I will have to say that he was lucky this time around, but maybe not next time. I was asked, do not embarrass him, Nick. Do not embarrass him. So I listened to you all. As you know, I like to listen to my family. Sometimes, I'm a hard ears fella too though. Bajan hard ears. Don't come any harder than that, that's for sure. We talked about a lot of seasonal beaches and stuff before. Now, I know in this general area, it's hard for me to pinpoint exactly where they were. Um, as far as I know, the one that we saw just now, um, that beach that we saw was um, over was called Lake Ox Bay. We then have Chandler Bay and Nan Bay in this general area here. Uh, I know that there are some of our members who are on board this morning. Well, they can fill us in on the exact names of these bays if they do know, because I know a lot of them were raised here on this section of the island, and they're very familiar with it. I call them seasonal beaches, but they are, actually do carry official names on them. But just look at the makeup of the coral cliffs here. You can see the lower section has fully formed um, with the coral stone itself. You can see that quite clearly. And then you can see the above section very very loose so you know the weaker matters have been eaten out off the cliffs below they would have probably looked very similar to what you're seeing up here right now and as it came out of the water it was eaten off the weaker matter as well just beautiful though I really hope that the sunrise this morning came out well. I'm really um, being optimistic about that. Um, you know, I, I wasn't able to monitor it because I had the, the tripod set up in a, a little cove section uh, so that you all would be able to see it a little better and hopefully not bring as much wind with it. I'll try and shelter it a little bit from the sea spray. But um, yeah, I know for sure that it was challenged this morning a little bit, but I'm hoping you all were able to enjoy the beauty with me. I certainly enjoyed the beauty. I walked all around the cliff. I met, met some uh, three people above a gentleman, two ladies were actually taking a swim over in Little Bay in itself in the little pool area. Not in the pool by the cliff, um, but the pool above, which is actually sand bottom. Um, but they are obviously going to be there now until the tide starts to get a little fuller where all the water starts to come over and surge into that section. They're having a beautiful Christmas. They told me they had a peaceful Christmas and they're just celebrating today with a sea bath, which they did for the last two days as well. 
I know down here it's been difficult to swim recently um, because the winds and the large easterly swells that we had. Because you can see you can drive over here in a car. This guy has um, come, made his way right out. There are a couple of vehicles over here actually. I don't know if they're fishermen or stuff. You'll soon find out. We're going in that direction. It's just spectacular scenery. Sorry about seeing that um, friend of mine. You know who it is I'm talking about. I'm going to try and get him out of the camera as much as possible. But I know there's some people on here that seem to love him. They tell me, where's my boyfriend today? I thought they were referring to me in the beginning until they made a correction to me. Not you. And then he said automatically, yeah, well, I realized who we're talking about. So he's becoming more and more popular. But I'm going to keep uh, talking about him less and less as he does. So as you can see, you can drive out here. You drive to this section here from Little Bay itself. Um, be very careful and remember some of these roads come right next to people's properties so if you are coming through here don't play loud music don't shout don't rant and rave just take your time and come across peacefully um, i used to drive all out here in a little suzuki fx suzuki 600 all over the cliffs and stuff all through fosters fun land all along the beach and stuff in one of them um, but that's before i realized how you could easily get captured and caught up in this area very popular fishing location beautiful just beautiful we're going to make our way a little further across. We did start with a long sunrise this morning. So if you have to make your way off, I would recommend coming back and having a look at this vlog later on because we are going to be making our way over to Chandler Bay, which is the inlet to the island. One of the inlets to the island. Smaller than we have seen before and some of the other ones, but beautiful in any way. So you can always um, put this, you know, later on, drag it through and go to the points where you want to see because there's so much beauty to be seen over here on this side of the island but I know a lot of you have time restrictions and stuff and some of you don't want to hear me talk too much but don't mind I'm going to talk even if it's to myself because I love to talk yes so you would know I had a, a lovely lovely Christmas lots of reflection um, I had Christmas breakfast with my sister and, and her partner a great great morning it was really had a fantastic time and hiked with them yesterday as well so you know i've been with family i've also met a lot a lot of friends yesterday i was so surprised yesterday at the amount of youtubers that actually approached me people are not even on facebook you know i walked onto one section this lady who hopefully will send me her name because i have her picture that i've been longing to post her and her husband i know his name is nick so i know he's a real nice guy that will go without saying and i would have to say uh, you know i met him briefly but he he was exactly what i'd expect of a, a nick like me a really nice gentleman so <laughs> and you know a lot of people know and she said she said that, um, her husband and herself were sitting on the beach and they heard me talking to someone I was just walking by and they said that's got to be Nicholas and they came and trapped me down I, I was so happy for them to see me you know to come and meet with me I gave them our card obviously I'm trying to get everybody to Facebook because that's where we can chat and share our love and kindness um, a lot of people from YouTube don't um, realize that when we're doing lives and I'm talking, 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 that I actually have close to 100 people during the video, maybe about 50 or 60 on at a time, uh, but about 100 overall, somewhere in that vicinity anyhow, um, that are actually interacting and that are uh, pushing me and encouraging me to talk more and more and more. See, I have an excuse all the time. <laughs> Beautiful little bays over here. Now, this is a, pretty much a seasonal beach. A lot of times you will not find any sand here. Um, however, it is beautiful. I have actually driven right down here in a little Suzuki car. And that was many, many years ago. But from this elevation here, you can see how beautiful down here is. Especially with the cast of the sun coming off of the cliffs and the rocks right now, highlighting them. Just stunning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good. All right, sir. Have a good day, huh? Okay. Sure. Just lovely out here. I was very disappointed yesterday on my hike, on one section of it, because I came up upon a, a large mass of grape, sea grape trees that have on blossoms. I cannot believe that. I have just got rid of the sea grape season and there, there are trees over in the bath area that have blossoms. I was so disgusted, you know, and, and my sister was telling me, Nicholas, they're beautiful fruit, beautiful fruit, beautiful fruit to look at. That would be about it. Tie up my mouth, I can't deal with that. I, would, I like dunks, but not sea grapes, goodness. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know I me, mean? I like the sturdy pot. So all you sea grape lovers, that's what I think about them. 
they are not the kind of thing that anyone should be encouraged to eat. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just look at this scenery. I, I have seen this literally hundreds of times and I don't care how many times I see it. It always makes you stand and look at it and marvel at the creations that God has given us. It is just gorgeous, just beautiful. This whole island has been shaped with different beauty from one area to another. That is the beauty of this island. You can get in a car, imagine it's 166 square miles and no matter where you go, it looks different. It is just amazing. Don't talk about going to the interior where all the trees and the forestry areas are. Just beautiful. Now we did mention about wearing four by fours this morning. As you can see, uh, forget him, I'm not talking about him. As you can see from the surface here, you don't want to be walking out here ready in a pair of slippers for sure. You will get tripped up, definitely, and you will go down without a doubt. Um, I've seen a lot of people walk around here very comfortably in software and stuff. So I guess you could wear any type of software. But I like to wear my hikers. If I'm going to be putting on shoes, besides my beach shoes, I'm going to put on something real sturdy. So there are no limitations. I can walk virtually anywhere. I pretty much walk blindly. Obviously looking to make sure I don't fall down. But you know, I, I can walk without studying what I'm stepping on because these shoes are amazing. I wouldn't even brought my new ones yesterday. You know, I, I had to wear these old girls because they said I am not, not bringing out my new hikers because my angel has bought me some pretty, pretty ones. Not that they're colored pretty rings, so you know, they just look classy then. So you know, I'm not gonna dirty them up at all. If I wear them anywhere, I may wear them in the supermarket. And that's about it. For now, anyhow, until I have no other option. Now, I haven't seen anyone driving through here for a long time, but I have driven through here in the past from that side of this cliff through the inlet bottom here and up this side here, but that's been a while back. I haven't done that maybe for about 10, 12 years driving, somewhere around there, a long time anyhow. Um, but it, I know it can still be done because I know there's still guys that do it and they're beasts. Unfortunately, up in here is still holding the sargasm from earlier in the year. The difference is, is that this entire inlet was surfaced with sargasm weed. It's only on the intersection now. That's the only thing that would really stop people from driving down that cliff and up this one here now. And that is because of all of that sargasm in the bottom and not sure how much water may be under it. Um, I see a lot of walking tracks here now. The driving tracks just a little bit behind this grove of cactus style bush. I'm not too sure what it's called. But this is the inlet that I was mentioning. We've talked about this before. I can actually show you it a little bit better now. I have bathed in here. I've said dip to here numerous times. However, I will let you know the entire bottom of this is sharp coral. So if you're going in here, please wear beach shoes or something very sturdy. Do not wear slippers, they will not help you whatsoever. You would have to have on some good big shoes or, um, you know, uh, Crocs or something like that that has a hard bottom, but a solid croc that would actually buckle up on your foot rather and just one that would slip on. It is just beautiful. Now this area here, general area is rock field. They said we are in the parish of St. Lucy. This is where we're going to uh, conclude this tour today. Um, we will do the other, the rest of the coast and stuff at a later date. We've done it before. We do have a section between uh, North Point, former North Point Beach Resort and Animal Flower Cave that I want to cover with you. Um, we'll do that again. Um, winds obviously uh, have to be low. If not, the gimbal will blow around like a 360 uh, by itself, fast and with no kind of shape at all. And uh, you know, I don't really want that. And also this week, I'm concentrating on low tide. Low tide is beach week for sure. But then again, it all depends. If the wind drops right off, we will see. You know, we have to be flexible in everything that we do. And that's what we always say. You know, we make plans, but plans ha can be changed on the drop of a dime. That's because I really don't predict anything. I don't try to control anything. I go with the way that I'm directed. Got a couple of sprinkles coming down. No big problem because I do have on my rain shield. Uh, just making sure that if we did have some rain this morning, that it would not stop the show. Because uh, I wanted to talk to you all, and I know you all like to walk in the rain as well. So I just bring along the rain shield with me. Some people said they thought I had on antlers in the picture at Hilton. Uh, 
I, <laughs> it did look like that the first time we looked at it as well too so but then everybody realized there were two brollies because I was walking with my family so I want to protect them as well not just a gimbal but protect them as well I hope you all have a safe day that you all can reflect on the peace and the love and the joy that we have been given you know if you can love others unconditionally that is a freedom that God gives us that no one can stop you from doing whether they want to really take it the way it's given or not you know it's, that is a freedom that we have to love unconditionally and I'm hoping that you're caring for everyone around you you know I, I've seen all your family pictures and stuff for Christmas I think it's amazing to see all the families uniting at Christmas time and stuff and all the friends but remember that the uniting and the loving and the caring is 365 days a year and throwing the extra day every four years it is not supposed to just for Christmas we are asked to love every day not just at Christmas time so please remember that don't just love and care and be kind on these special occasions because every day is a special occasion if we're given life it is a special occasion because there are a lot of people that we may know and that we do not know this morning did not wake up did not see the sun lives did not feel the warmth of the sun did not feel the cold did not see the snow it doesn't matter where in the world you are there are people that didn't wake up to enjoy whatever you're enjoying so enjoy everyone have a fantastic day i hope you've um you know enjoy the sunrise with me this morning i do have a sunset as i told you i have got it up going up onto youtube it should be on by the time i get home i'll put that later on today um i don't not to say that for any special occasion because i just told you every day is a special occasion i may not live to see tomorrow if i am called tonight or today i have absolutely no problem in going and that is because i have now accepted god and i have accepted that i will have eternal life and that will go without question so i know he loves me and i know i'm going to a much better place but until i go to that better place i'm going to make the best out of this gift that he has given me and i'm going to make sure i share it with all of my friends and family because you all deserve nothing less than that if i can bring you barbados and i can bring you any form of happiness or joy or beauty i will most definitely be doing so i hope you all have a fantastic day everyone please be safe out there i know today is a big party day i was wondering why yesterday was so light at some locations i was going to webcams looking all around to see where i was going to visit i did visit our favorite beach in the world or my favorite beach in the world um, and it was fantastic but please be careful out there today are the numbers days you know wear your mask keep your distance protect yourself remember god asks you to carry his word for you to carry his word you have to protect the vessel that he has given you that he has blessed you with so take care everyone i love you all i hope you have a fantastic day i'm going to leave you with this photo up here this is as i said before we're over in rockfield in the parish of st lucy obviously in the, um, barbados the place that we call home paradise and heaven have a great day everyone and please keep safe and love your fellow man